Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for the month of uh, September. We're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations for each week. Um, so keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. It could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with or someone around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, uh, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. Also, um, if this does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe, shoot below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright, Taurus. Also, I'm going to timestamp this, so at the bottom, um, so if it does resonate, make sure you hit the like button so you can come back to it. Alright, month of September for Taurus. Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. A lot of fire energy. <laughs> the King of Wands, more fire. The Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, could be an age difference, the King of Swords, could be dealing with a couple people, or this is all one person, the world, the tower, the magician, wow, something at the end of the month that's going to shock you, um, it looks like it's happening, like something's happening, there's a pretty strong force coming off of those cards, alright, so <laughs> it's interesting, uh, overall energy for Taurus. Four. Okay. Way too many. Overall energy for Taurus for September. Um, so possibly you have a couple people here. If you just have one. Uh, I mean, it's just kind of an energy change. Could be dealing with the Emperor. Or, you know, there just could be different people around you at different times. It feels like you're trying to figure things out. You definitely could have multiple people kind of competing for your attention. So you could have options, choices, trying to make that selection. All right, Taurus. So, um, it's just a whole lot of people here. I mean, it could be all one energy, but, um, it could be any sign. You do have the power to manifest and it's looking like you're kind of going to go for something here. At the end of the shoot, at the end of the month, but well, we'll clarify. These cards just are popping out like crazy. Um, just based off the cards, you could have one person here if you are dealing with more than one person. Um, who it feels like kind of stands out a little more than the rest. And that might just be because of like, I don't know, physical appearance, their swag, their demeanor, like things like that. All right, um, Taurus, let's get it. I think I've done enough talking. Just had a shuffle. All right, so for the first week of September, you have the Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. So wands are movement. You may be, there may be someone, something at a distance, something that you're waiting for, but you also have the six of wands. So that's the card of success. Show me the three of wands for Taurus for the first, thank you for the first week. The king of pentacles, this is you. You're waiting on something. Um, and with the three of wands, it's like something that you're already, it could be someone at a distance, but it's like something that you're already moving towards. So it's kind of like that, that time of waiting for things to um, to take off around this. It could be around business. All right, so look, it might be, there's that three of wands again. There's something here that you're waiting for. It could be at a distance and it's just not moving right this second. Leo energy, it could have to do with money. It could have to do with the person, but it's almost like the weight or the distance is bringing a lot of, um, anxiety and worry and fear so don't let that be the case because um this is like you know the mind kind of playing tricks like oh my goodness this ain't gonna happen something like that so um don't let i mean you know sometimes 
there is a waiting period or a distance or you know just don't get caught in your head like that show me the six if you can help it show me the six of wands for taurus Whew. oh fuck so uh the seven of swords and the knight of wands i mean they're for some there's two people here for other okay so for some i mean straight up it's, it's like player mode kind of out doing whatever um non-committal type of energy could be kind of sneaky and so on the flip side you kind of have somebody who if this you could be dealing with another earth sign but this this could be your energy but somebody who's like protective over the situation is now it looks like worried on that side show me the seven of swords if this is around career you're not dealing with anybody this is a plan that you've made and it could really be taken off fast there and that could be around work the seven of wands and the ten of wands so yeah there's like a lot of weight that someone kind of ends up carrying you're either working hard if you like you're not really dealing with somebody here but if you are there's kind of a need for reflection somebody's doing their damn thing with like um and it's almost like pulling throwing the weight on someone else i don't know whose side that's on how it's going to resonate with you but something just kind of almost becomes overwhelming there Show me this King of Wands for Taurus for the second week. So the King of Wands is Aries Leo set the devil. All right, we already see where this is going. Capricorn energy. This is that person who you know, could be a sweet talker. This is somebody that's like physically probably really uh, tempting. Could also, you know, kind of be in and out, deceptive, have a high ego. Um why the devil it definitely could be an ex, oh shit, an ex or something like that show me the devil for taurus could the king of wands can also be a married man the magician watch out for that person there's some type of communication here possibly a phone call um somebody possibly missed an opportunity before so now they want to talk this all pride and ego right there baby they're trying to make it happen could be like some drinking text or something like that but this could also be with that king of cups just flipped out um kind of a person who's more like getting refitting on their schedule things aren't really but they're trying to make it happen show me this knight of cups for taurus for the same week so the Knight of Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. I mean, Cancer Pisces. This is so not funny, but funny. Um, you do have an offer coming. This could be a completely different person or this is like a love offer. With the moon there, this is hidden from you. There's secrets all around. At least one of these people though. Um, possibly codependency it also could be like some type of addictions and that could be sexual tell me about this moon for taurus this could be two different people show me the moon please and in which case yeah look it looks like on one side right um there's there's something new starting this could be something brand new um and in which case it looks like there could be success around it so look at it from all perspectives because this may be hidden from you right now either way you need to look at this from all perspectives because you do have one person who's coming towards you that you know it's like a lot of pride and ego there or it could just be something you got going on in the side that's like a sexual nature but take it how it resonates with you because you know not on on one side it looks like there's a potential for something that's either brand new um this person like i said could be younger but then it's like on the other side it's it's almost like the devil is going to try to come and block your blessing show me this king of swords for the third week for taurus please
<laughs> All right, so the King of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wow, the Knight of Cups again. So this, this show me this Knight of Cups. The King of Swords um, is very determined, knows what he wants, communication. Um, but the Three of Wands, again, same card from the first week. It's almost kind of like there could be like another distance that's kind of created here. It's almost like um, like wanting to express some type of emotions, wanting to talk. But we're right back kind of to, well, I mean, the exact same energy of the first week. Waiting, looking at maybe other things or like just we're back to this waiting period. It almost like pulled things back. Show me this world for Taurus for the third week. The world is Capricorn energy. The fool. Um, give me one more because it looks like you're closing some type of chapter here. The Queen of Pentacles. It's almost like you're bouncing on a situation. Like you're you're pulling out from it is what it feels like with the with the fool there going against the grain type energy. Breaking some type of chains there. You may feel like um you know some yeah so you're cutting out what's no longer serving you here you're listening to your higher self closing chapters all right but then for the fourth week you got the tower real big change coming and you have the magician so the magician you know your money's looking good thursday i mean you're really focused on your i mean thursday what the hell the third week all right, let's see what's happening this fourth week. Show me the tower for Taurus for the fourth week of uh, September. I keep forgetting the dang month. Show me this tower, please. The two of swords. Don't come to a crossroads here. Trust, trust, trust yourself. Because it's looking like there could be something that kind of catches you off guard here. And it, it, give me one more before I say that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hold back here. And it's coming around again, this devil energy, Capricorn energy. I mean, somebody could have ghosted here. It looks like things may have got quiet. So somebody doesn't know what to do, but they know that they don't want to let go. They don't want to lose something, but they don't know how to really move forward so the wheel's gonna push it show me this magician for taurus for thank you the chariot this is also the fourth week right so that's cancer energy hmm. the justice there could be a legal situation but you're moving forward and finding like balance you're finding stability um if the ace of cups you could be you know finding new love here but there's a big change here and it looks like um with the justice here honestly like something's coming back to bite someone in the ass here could be done with an aries but there is like regret here um let down a kind of a what did i do type of energy is what it's feeling like what is this emperor trying to do? Thank you. Put time and energy. You're putting time and energy into what really makes you happy here. And it looks like you're getting some type of balance. So. It's like once we come around the third week. To this energy. Of you know listening to your higher self and kind of putting in these these boundaries here um and focusing on yourself then the next week it kind of you know seems like something falls more into place there but this first two weeks watch out all right Taurus. i hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading that information is below as well you guys take care and i'll see you next time bye